Hey people, how are we doing today? It is Wednesday. It is time for a new video. And a new video is what I have for you today. Now, this cannot be relieved to me. It's unbelievable. Christmas is right around the corner. Today is the 14th. In 10 days, it's the 24th, which means it is going to be Christmas Eve in 10 days. Christmas Day is the next day after that. Can you believe it? Time has flown by. It is time for Santa to get into his, oh, it's time for Santa to get into his sleigh and deliver toys to all the little boys and girls everywhere, all around the world. Hmm. Makes me kind of envious. Of course, now, that's kind of elf explanatory, if you know what I mean. So today I thought I would do a little bit of a Christmas trivia and fun facts. Of course, I'm going to read it. I'll be reading it from ChristmasCelebrations.com. I recommend you visit the site because there's all kinds of things you can learn. Now, there is no other holiday like Christmas, and that's what makes it special. Although it's observed around the world, many of us celebrate without knowing why, how our traditions got started and what they really signify. Knowing how and why helps us understand Christmas and the holiday season. The trivia below reminds us there is quite a bit of history behind our family customs. Try using it to make your own Christmas quiz or holiday parties and add a unique and touch unique touch with personal favorites. Now let us begin. First of all, the word Christmas is Old English, a contraction of Christ Mass. Now, I'm not Catholic, so I don't really know what Mass is. Sorry. The first president to decorate the White House Christmas tree in the United States was Franklin Pierce. Germany made the first artificial Christmas tree. They were made of goose feathers and green dye. Hmm. Electric lights for trees were first used in 1895. Wow, that was a long time ago. Understatement time, yeah. The first Christmas cards were vintage and invented in 1843, the Victorian era, in Great Britain, I assume. It's a Wonderful Life appears on TV more often than any other holiday movie. That I can believe, because some networks here in, in the United States play it over and over and over and over again, just in case you missed it the first hundred times. Okay, Rudolph was actually created by Montgomery Ward in the late 1930s for a holiday promotion the rest is history. And we all know Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He had a very shiny nose. And if you... Well, never mind. I think you know all the rest of it. The Nutcracker is the most famous Christmas ballet. Jingle Bells was first written for Thanksgiving and then became one of the, the most popular Christmas songs. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say so. The poinsettia plant was brought into the United States from Mexico by Joel Poinsettia in the early 1800s. Holly berries are poisonous. Stay away from them. Do not eat them. They are not for eating. However, contrary to misconce common misconception, poinsettia plants are not toxic. Mistletoe was chosen as o Oklahoma's state flower in 1893 and later changed to the state floral emblem. In 1843, Christmas a Christmas carol was written by Charles Dickens in just six weeks. Hmm. I couldn't write that in six years. Uh, the first state to recognize Christmas the Christmas holiday officially was Alabama. Way to go, Alabama. I'm not, I don't live in Alabama. I just 
Way to go. Christmas became a national holiday in America on June 26, 1870. An angel told Mary she was going to have a baby. I think we all know that. And we know who the baby was. Or is. Yeah. Let me see. Black Friday is not the busiest shopping day of the year. Although it varies. It usually lands somewhere in December. Clearing up a common misconception. In Greek, X means Christ. That's where the X was, comes from. Not because someone took the took Christ out of Christmas. Now, I'm going to give you one more. Got to find a good one. Da, 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 da. Okay, how about eggnog first became popular in England, where it was considered a drink for the upper class. Now, that's my bit of trivia for today. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you like it. If you have any questions or comments, hopefully you'll have some questions because I'm planning a Q&A before the end of the year. So get your questions in right away. If you have any small YouTubers that you want to be mentioned on my channel, let me know because i got something very special planned for someone next year. And, if you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Tumblr. And if you are new to this channel and you feel you want to subscribe, I invite you to do so. Join the craziness. Join the mayhem. Join me and some others. And, if you really, really want to, you can write me a letter. But remember to include a self-addressed stamped envelope. Send it to Kenny Davenport at P.O. Box 198, Crossville, Tennessee, 38557. Now, there will be more videos before Christmas time. And I will try to put up a uh, Christmas party video. I will try to give you more trivia. And maybe a taste test. And if anyone's interested, let me know. Another Munch Pack unboxing. Well, until then, let me just say, have a great day, great night, great week. And goodbye.